Good afternoon, everyone, and I am back with another idea for you. I am going to be using Dollar Tree battery-operated uh, candles. These candles are obviously just one dollar. You can get everything for or anything in there for just one dollar each item. I use these candles for a uh, candle holder that I did for Christmas. So I had plenty of these because I bought extra because I wasn't sure how long the batteries would last. So I bought extras and then I've got these, been putting them all over my home just, just for decorative purposes. But then I felt like I needed to decorate them a little bit more. So this is what I did. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. I used uh, napkins, just party napkins, anything pretty that you can find anywhere, it doesn't matter. I got these, the one, this one that I decorated, I got these some time ago. I think may have gotten them at Ross or Marshalls. I'm not really sure. I think it was probably Marshalls that I got them on clearance. So you might want to check out those type of stores like Burlington, you know, to look for like quality napkins that are, um, you know, reduced price. And look, here's the design. You can see that little Mediterranean style looking house on there. And it's got it on the four panels. And these uh, napkins are either going to be two or three ply napkins. And I'm going to show you why I'm going to mention why I'm mentioning that in a moment. We also went to the Dollar Tree. My sister-in-law and I went to Dollar Tree because we thought we'd do this idea. And I knew I already had napkins, but she needed to get some. So she got these. These were only a dollar, and it's a package of 24. Now, the thing about these napkins is the print is only on one square. It is not on, on the other panel squares. It is just on that, and the other side is plain. But that's okay because the package is only one dollar, and there's 24. So if you need to do two candles and you just wanted to use one facing of this, then you're only going to use two of these little napkins. Now, you, you could do what she did is she used four napkins, and she used it to cover it completely all the way around, which I should have told her to leave them here so I could show you. But anyway, um, they turn out really great. You can do a lot of come up with a lot of ideas for the different napkins that you find. Now, I also went to Tuesday morning because I wanted to repeat what I did here, but I didn't want to use the same napkin. Since I'm putting these around my house, I wanted to have different ones. I didn't want them all to be the same. So I went to Tuesday morning, and Tuesday morning has a great selection also of party napkins. Oh, and by the way, the ones from the Dollar Tree, you'll find these where they have the paper plates and the little party favors and things like that, because you're wondering where they're located. And they have a great assortment. They're all really pretty. This just went with what she wanted to do with the decor. Okay, so anyway, I found these at, the, at uh, Tuesday morning, and these were $1.79. Now, they have some that are $2.99, some that are $3.99, and they get larger, or the long ones. And, uh, and so they, they have a great selection, and these were only $1.79, and then they had an extra 20% because I went to the back where the clearance stuff is, and had this little sticker, so that meant I got an extra 20% off. So I got it for like $1.43 or something like that. And this is a package of 20, so that's awesome. This original packet that I had over here is a package of 16. So it all just depends on what you have. I want to do a tea party, so that's why I actually bought these napkins. But I'm starting to like these now. These kind of go with the cups that I have. And these Tuesday morning napkins have the print all over. So this is awesome. And let me explain about the uh, layers. It could be one, and it looks like it has one more. So let's try and see if we can separate it. Sometimes they're not, it's not that easy to separate. But I'm going to try on camera so you can see. Okay. And this one is going to be, not going to be as easy to remove as that other one. And you want to save these, uh, these white layers here. You want to save these because they'll be great for wiping up little, little things. So don't throw that away. Let's get these out of the way. And here we go. You can almost see the design on the other side. You can tell that this is obviously more vibrant, so this is the right side. But now we've got this all over. And I would like to cover up my whole candle. And this goes all the way around. And since the, the pattern is repeated here and here, that means I only need one napkin for two of my candles. So that's a great, 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 great purchase with these because I'm only going to use one napkin. And I'm going to show you how to use it. We're going to be using a Mod Podge. Now, if you, you can't find Mod Podge, well, you can because you can just go to Walmart, you can go to Michael's, you can go to Hobby Lobby. I think even like uh, Home Depot, not Home Depot, but um, Office, no, Home Depot. Yeah, I had it right. Even Home Depot carries a, a Mod Podge. They might carry a little small one. Even Dollar Tree actually carries like a one or two ounce little bottle for a dollar. So if you don't want to do too much work and you don't want to spend a lot of money you just want to buy yourself one little bottle just to do one little candle then there you go buy a dollar napkin 
buy a dollar for the little bottle and a dollar for the candle, you'll spend three dollars and you'll have a cute little candle. So anyway, you can use Mod Podge or you can use like Aileen's Tacky Glue or any kind of white glue and you can just water it down a little bit. You're going to need some brushes. You're going to need uh, scissors and I've got my little tiny scissors here in case I want to do something. Because these have a little, kind of a little scalloped edge so I want to cut along the excess so I want to make sure that I can get in there and sometimes the big scissors won't let me but my little scissors will so if you have some little detailed scissors and a lot of times you get these like when you cut your nail your I'm not just no when you get a nail kit to cut your nails you have little scissors in there so go grab those from there these I bought them in the sewing section of my uh, Michael store so just little kind of like a little curve on them which I love because then you can get in there Anyway, that's enough about the scissors. Just get yourself some scissors. And of course, I got a little plate where I can put my Mod Podge on. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to grab one of my candles. Actually, I'm going to use one of the, No, I'm not going to use the napkins. I was going to use the napkins to place this on, but I don't want to mess. Okay, let's get these napkins out of the way. I'm going to get this little plate here. If you hear a little sound in the background, that's my fan. I got a little fan going. I'm in South Texas. It's winter time, and I've got the AC on, and I don't know why, but I feel like I need to have a little fan on myself, you know, when you get a certain age, like a little bit extra coolness. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here, and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, my napkin because it was uh, this size. I wanna, I'm just going to go along the folded edge and cut, cut it in half. And it's already folded, so it's already marked for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and excuse me. I'm fidgety right now. We're gonna cut that in half. And don't worry about being uh, perfectly precise because this is taller than the actual candle. Let me put it along there. And as you can see, it's taller, so uh, that'll get cut to sort of match. So now we've got two pieces and one will fit around one candle and this one will fit around this candle because I want to make two of them okay so now we're gonna go ahead and get our Mod Podge down into the plate and I've already um, I've already used some of this and I took off this part but for some reason it's sticking back on I guess when I was using it the, got some on the edges and it stuck in there so I'm gonna get rid of that little cardboard piece okay let's pour some on my plate and usually when I use uh, my Aileen's Tacky Glue, um, I put a little bit of water, and I think I mentioned that, because it's just a little bit thicker than this, and I want it to be able to, I want to be able to spread it easily. So I'm gonna just going to take my candle and just make sure that it's clean. Just wipe off any dirt that might be on it. These have some glitter because I had them in a glitter candle holder, so they still have some glitter on them, and I don't mind the glitter, but uh, I'm going to still try and remove some of it. Okay. Let's get our brush, and we're going to start brushing, but we're not going to brush it all the way around. I'm only going to do like a little strip right here, because the first thing that I want to do is I want to be able to align my napkin. And I want to align my napkin, the straight edge, where I didn't cut, to the edge of the, of the bottom of the candle. Now, you don't have to do this, because you can always go and trim. So if anything, you want to make sure that the napkin is either on the edge or just a little bit below, but not going upward like that, okay? So you just want to make sure. So once you know that it's okay, it's going to go, you know, it's pretty much aligned. Then right here where you put the glue, go ahead and smooth it out. Okay. And then let's lift this up. And then we'll continue putting some glue, some more glue or a Mod Podge. Roll it over onto the glue. Smooth it out. You can do a bigger section. I wouldn't do too big a section because... You're doing this kind of thin and you don't want it to dry. And especially because I have that little fan on, I don't want it to dry on me. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of a bigger section. I'm going to be daring. But uh, if you're not sure about it, just go a little, little section at a time. And just twirl your candle. Now, there's something that I should tell you. Now, when you're putting on the napkin, it kind of gets a little bit like a little crinkly, wrinkly effect to it. That actually looks really nice. I think my sister-in-law did hers and she thought it looked really nice. We kind of like that effect on there. It gave the candles, because it's really smooth, it gave it a little bit of a texture. So that's okay if it has a little wrinkles. 
you really can't see them once you're mod podged over them but it does have a little bit of a texture when you feel it like that but anyway you will get that just so you know uh so you won't think that oh no i can't get it smooth you know because we're going around in, in a in a round surface so it's kind of hard to do that because the you know the papers cut at a certain bias and if it was cut at a different bias maybe it would work like fabric where it has a little bit of a pull but i doubt it so we're just going to go ahead and just live with a little bit of little crinkles all right and i've got the glue on the rest of it and i'm just going to go ahead and smooth it out over that and i did end up going i noticed that i ended up going let's see but i'll just trim that off now this part right here i'm going to trim that out because i don't want to overlay on top of that because i don't want a thicker looking area there i want it to be as close to um Uh, looking as the rest of the, the paper does so I don't want to double you know double it on there so I'm just going to smooth that out I'm going to make sure that it's as smooth as I can get it everywhere yep it's on there no little bubbles and now we're going to trim this off right there and if just a little tiny of it overlaps that's fine just try not to cut it uh, that it's shorter because then you have to be filling in those little spots and you don't want that so it's better just to overlap it a tiny little bit okay I've gone ahead and I put glue over that little edge because I want to seal it down and uh, then I'm going to put glue all the way around to create another seal but before I do that I'm going to do my trimming so I'm going to go down here at the bottom and just trim like so that's okay oops <laughs> let's now trim the top part and I'm just going to do a little general trimming here with my scissors and I can continue using those scissors, but I'm going to trade off with my little tiny ones here so I can get into those little curves. There we go. And hopefully you'll, maybe you'll find some that are not curved. Now, um, I can show you how to do this on a, on a real wick waxed uh, candle, if that's what you want to see. Uh, uh, let me know in the comments below say hey I want to see how you're going to do this on a wax candle not on these um, little waxy artificial plastic or whatever they are candles they feel waxy actually maybe they do have some a little bit of, of a you know coating on them okay so now what I'm going to do um, is um, do the outside and I'm going to make sure I get those little edges on there and it's okay they're a little rough looking I kind of like that So just, just go ahead and, oh, shoot, <laughs> just make sure you get that on there. Uh, what happened right now is my finger got stuck on there and I picked up some of the napkin. So that's okay. I'm going to cover it up for the purpose of the video. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to do another one. Should that happen, let it, let it go. It looks really nice. If not, if you want to go ahead and get another napkin and cut out a little spot that matches, go ahead. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. That's because I'm taking too long. I need to hurry up. Okay. What I should have done is I should have wiped my fingers before I continue moving because the edge up here has glue and I've been picking up on it. And then when I grabbed it like this, I got the glue on this. And then of course my finger kind of got stuck to it. So just kind of, you know, watch that. And it's not that big of a deal because it's not that inexpensive of a thing. And if you don't like it, you could always just, you know, just get a, a moist sponge. I'm getting stuff all over myself too. Get a moist sponge and just get it off of there and then start over. Dry it up really well and then start all over again. Because the napkins aren't expensive. Okay. But try not to do that. And it's a whole lot easier when you're only doing one little piece because you don't have to worry about it all the way around. But this time I'm doing it all the way around. There you go. And now I'm just going to let it dry. That's all I'm going to do. And then maybe we'll decorate it with a little ribbon. We'll be back because I need to do the other one and I'll show you what how that's going to look. Okay, I want to show you real quick um, how I'm going to repair this little area right here where that came off. I've got another little spot here where I've got that same uh, flower and I'm just going to cut off a little piece of that and it doesn't have to match exactly but I've got a little piece here let me show you that little area right there where that kind of looks like that so I'm going to go ahead and Cover that, match it up as much as I can, 
put some glue under it. It's still kind of wet, so it's 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 sticking on. But now I'm going to just brush it down, and it just kind of blends right in. Right there. That's the spot that I patched in. Oh, there was another one. Oh, it's over here. Right there. And then I also noticed something else. Oh, I just needed some glue right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fix that little pink edge as well. And I've got this pink uh, look here, which is what I'm going to use. It's not the same exact one, but it's it's the same color. So I'm just going to cut a little piece like that. Put it on there, put some glue. And just try to get that on there. It's not, it's not so obvious. And then just seal it on top with some more of the Mod Podge. And there we go. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to let them dry. And I'm going to decorate them a little bit, so I'll be back and show you how I'm going to do that. Alright, uh, these are almost dry. Uh, but for the sake of going ahead and getting this video done so I can get other things done in my house uh, uh, or my home. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and decorate them and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I've got these two little pieces. You can see the colors in here. You've got some hot pinks, kind of a maroony color, some light pinks. You've got some greens and some golds. And I have a ton of ribbons. So I just went through my ribbons and I found these two. They're sheer. And this one's got a kind of a old gold look to it and then I've got this sort of a pink kind of a hot pink color and I'm going to use these two ribbons to wrap around uh, my candles and then I've got some you know rhinestones you know I've got assorted uh, colors I've got you know just white ones and some sequins I've got these little stick on ones and I think I like these larger squarish ones so I'm going to go ahead and use those I'm not going to dig any further because I, I'll never make up my mind so I'm going to use these all right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue on uh, the gold ribbon. And I don't want it, let me think, do I want it in the middle? You can barely see it, but you'll see it when it's closer. Um, you might want to use a solid. I'm going to go ahead and use this because I really like the look of it. I'm going to go sort of in the middle, maybe a little bit to, to the top. So I'm going to start in the back where the seam is. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right there and then get the end of my ribbon and just stick it down on there and just bring it around like you would be doing a Christmas gift wrap it around bring it over to match up with the other end and then add a dot of glue right there and just put that over that and if you're not skittish like me, you can press down with your finger or you can use your scissors. And while you're at it, go ahead and trim off the excess. And then we'll do the same to the other candle. Let me get the height more or less. Put some glue on the um, seam. That's about it. Wrap around. Put some glue where the other end is. Knead them together. Press down. Trim off the excess. There we go. Just like that. I can see it. I know you probably can, but uh, believe me, you can see it without uh, the cam. I mean, without looking at it through the video on the video. So uh, it's up to you what you use. If, I would probably use a solid one if you don't care for not seeing it and you want to see it, use a solid one. Now I'm going to put the pink one on top. Come on, honey. And there we go. Go all the way around like I did the other one. A little dot. Put that down. And then trim off the excess, a little bit more glue to get that little edge down. And I'm just using the tip of the glue gun to kind of push it down. And there we go. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to finish the other one also. 
or rather do the same to that one. There we go. You can make this really elaborate. You could use like a little rhinestone look, you know, trim, a ribbon or trim. Put that around instead. And they have some of some of that at uh, at uh, Dollar Tree, by the way. And they do have lots of ribbons also at the Dollar Tree, so you could also invest very little money on some uh, ribbon. These are little leftover pieces. I'm not going to use. Well, should I? I'd have to get some more ribbon, and I don't want to get it. And I have more of uh, both of these, so it's okay. Let me cut this in half and see how it looks. Then fold it in half again. Actually, I thought this looked kind of cute, but what I need to do is I'm going to fold it in half, but then I'm going to cut the the edge like so. Get a nice clean. And then a little bit of glue in the middle there, and then a little bit of glue on the back. And this is my back where the seam is, so I'm going to go opposite of that. I'll put that right there. You don't have to do that. Okay, I'm, I'm just doing it, but you don't have to. You don't have to make that little ribbon addition. Okay, get some of that glue to come off of there. Okay, I'm going to do that one, and then now uh, this one and the seam is back here. Pull that over, like that. Let's see, let's put this in here. Like that. Okay, put that on there. I want you to see that. That's what I did. Okay, now I've got these. These are little stick-on uh, type of, um, and you can find stuff like this also at the Dollar Tree. Uh, you, you can just go to your craft store like Hobby Lobby or Walmart. And these have a little bit of a sticky stuff on the back. I got some of the little fiber from the ribbon on there. But they got the sticky stuff on the back, so you can just stick them. But I'm not going to just stick them. I am going to put some glue, and I'm going to put them um, this way to cover up the edge of that folded ribbon piece. And I'm going to do the same with the other one. And I just realized some of these are really square and some of these are ovals. So I'm glad that I did have another oval here. Oh boy. All I had to do was just take that one off. And there we go. And look how pretty they are. And it hardly cost me anything to make them. I did notice that the rhinestone on this one is a little bit higher than this one, and I like, I kind of like the, a little bit lower, so I'm going to just move it a little tad bit before it dries completely, completely. And just make sure I cover the, the mess. They're not exactly the same, but I'm not going to put them next to each other. I'm going to put them in separate little areas on the same little table. And there we go. I hope you like this idea. I hope you feel like it's something that's easy that you could do. You could get some uh, cutesy little um, napkins that maybe have some little baby prints on them or something for the kids. And you could actually decorate these and put them in their room because you're, they're not, they're not going to light up. So they're not going to be dangerous. It's just battery operated. So your kid happens to turn one off. This little battery is going to run off at some point and it's not going to cause any problems. So you could put this, you can even decorate in your little baby's room. Why not? Give them as a little gift to someone. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up, so this is a great idea. And speaking of Valentine's Day, I have a Valentine's Day wreath that I also did with Dollar Tree items, and that video is ready, and it will be going up at the end of the week, and I'm hopefully that this video will be going either up today, which is a Tuesday, the 16th, I think it is. If not, it'll go up on Friday, and then I'll put the Valent... No, you know what? I'm saving the Valentine wreath for a little bit later. I've got a mirror that I did with some twigs that I think you're going to like. That has nothing to do with Dollar Tree. I'm not going to do all just Dollar Tree ideas. I've just been going on a little bit of a Dollar Tree binge, and that's what I've been doing. So let me know what you think of these. And uh, I hope you, like I said, I hope you think that this was an easy, quick idea. You can even have the kids help you with them. They're going to get their little hands a little dirty with that Mod Podge, but that's okay. It's not an expensive craft at all to do. So get them involved. Or get your grandma involved. Get someone that's... 
not doing anything. They really want some company. Go over, take some little items with you. Let's do something fun and let, let them have it as a little gift. All right, well, like I said, leave your nice comments down below. If you have a video or something that you want me to check out, leave your link below and I'll check you out. And give me a big old thumbs up. And as always, subscribe and enjoy.